من بعد الانفجار رجعت اوضاعنا كثير لسيئه We had to improvise because uh, we didn't had any plans to respond for this kind of disasters. Okay, you know, I'm not even aware. I'm not even aware of the things that they do. Out of the basic is the tallowus nahr, the tallowus of the Arab Sea. We are on the side of the Bahra tallowus. Can soya. حقه مثلا 350 دولار صار حقه 750 According to the World Bank, Lebanon is suffering its worst crisis since the end of the civil war in 1990. In just the past four years, the country has been overwhelmed by a series of disasters. As the COVID pandemic swept across the country, a deadly blast in the port of Beirut destroyed key infrastructures, disrupting the supply chains essential to the country's farmers and food supply. In 2019, Lebanon's largest water reservoir reached a critical level of pollution, putting the region's fishermen out of work. And now, the collapse of the Lebanese currency and financial system has left the population and authorities starved for resources needed to respond to these challenges. This broad spectrum of emergencies has left the animal health sector scrambling to pursue its mission in the country, putting animals and livelihoods at risk. After 2,750 tons of ammonium nitrate exploded in the port of Beirut, some farmers of the capital felt its effect immediately. But the repercussions of the blast went further as veterinary services buildings were destroyed as well as facilities that stored grains used for animal feed. Most poultry farmers depend on imported grains. After the blast, the veterinary services were among the first to return to the port of Beirut to restore their operations. It was very important to continue with the shipments coming to Lebanon. We cannot stop the shipments because this will affect our food security. Lebanon is depending uh, like 85% on imported animals. The veterinary services at the port were able to rapidly get back to work thanks to the support of the international community. They provided for us in very quick time. سابقاً كنا هذه بحيرة الأرعون مشهورة بكل لبنان وأي أقبل فعل أكبر بحيرة بالأرعون كان سابقاً نشرب منها المواشي كلها تشرب منها وكان تنظيفي نظيفي نظيفي عايشة هذه البركة أكثر من مئات العيال من الطروة السمكية الموجودة هون فإلهم سنتين ثلاثة منعينه بمناسبة التلوث وتعرف أنت يعني كل الناس ضررت بهذا الشيء لأنه لا المواشي عادوا شربت منها لا الصيادي عادوا تصيدوا هاي الشباك هاي كنا هاي كانت عيشتنا كنا نصيد ونعيشين منها هاي المصلحه 
كان الوضع طبيعي كنا نشيل بال 50 60 70 كيلو 80 كيلو مرات 100 كيلو نشيل حرام بحرة مثل هيدي بحرة بحرة طويلة عريضة مثل هيدي إنه في 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 شي 60 70 سياد مش أنا يعني بس 60 70 سياد طيب هاو 60 70 بخمسة هاو عايشين منها The ongoing financial crisis is an aggravating factor to these emergencies. The currency has been severely depreciated, destroying the purchasing power of the population, businesses, farmers, government authorities. In this situation, animal health is being relegated to a lower priority, increasing the risks of suffering and diseases in domestic animals in Lebanon. من وقت ما اجت الازمه الاقتصاديه بلبنان صار في كثير تقصير عند المزارع مشان هيك بس نكون عم نغذي بطريقه ناقصه يعني نحن ما فيش عندنا مصاري زياده انه نهتم بقصص ثانيه اللي هي مثل التغذيه مثل سوري مثل الصحه مثل مثل العنايه بالمزرعه اونرز ار هيزيتنت تو باي بيكوز ات نيدز ا لوت اوف اوف كوست ذير از هاي كوست اند سام تايمز وات وي هاف اولسو ليميت ليميتيشن از افيليبيلتي اوف ذا تريتمنت سو اوريدي ان ذا هيومن فيد دي هاف ليميتد افيليبيلتي اوف سام دراجز اند سيميلرلي ان ذا فات اتس ماتش مور كومبليكيتد تو هاف اول ذا دراجز وي نيد Lebanon is a case study of today's interconnected world where emergencies have cascading effects on human, animal, and environmental health. Responding to these hazards is a shared responsibility and requires coordinated efforts by all. Le point commun entre toutes ces crises, c'est l'humain. C'est l'humain qui reste à la base de l'intervention. C'est les différents services qui vont devoir travailler ensemble. Donc le, le travail de coordination inter-service est vraiment au cœur de toutes les situations. Several ministries are engaged in inspection and food safety and food security at academic level with universities and with uh, experts. And a lot of these committees still work today.